Welcome to the Weekly Market Wrap-Up, I'm Hannah Bernard. After the government officially reopened on Thursday, some market indices bounced back. However, Main Street is unimpressed with the fiasco and many hard questions are being asked. Stocks had a mixed day on Thursday after the government officially reopened, while the S&P 500 soared to record heights, pushing up three quarters of a percent against the prior session. The Dow Jones index was flat, ending up 2% lower than its own all-time record. This unusual divergence highlights the fragility of domestic market sentiment as a significant amount of confidence and credibility has been lost over the two-week government shutdown. As evidence of this, the National Federation of Independent Business reported a dip in small business owner sentiment. Also, Standard & Poor's have forecasted that the government shutdown cost the economy $24 billion, and the specter of credit rating downgrades still remains, despite Washington lawmakers coming together. Turning over to currencies, as the government deal sent some volatile ripple effects in the currency markets. The U.S. dollar index took a tumble Thursday even despite the government reopening. Simply put, the global community's confidence in the United States is deservedly waning, and this sentiment was reflected in its currency. The dollar-yen pair took a hit as a weaker dollar pushed up valuations of the yen. Although the long-term effects may be mitigated by a resurgent Japanese stock market, which has been under pressure during Washington's shutdown. The euro dollar took off and is now closing in on the 137 level, as an unstable American market makes the euro a safe haven play. As always, let's talk about winners and losers and our picks for the week. The winner for this week is Nova Gold Resources, ticker symbol NG. Share prices closed up over 7.5% based on a resurgent gold spot price. While the gold story is intriguing under the current market sentiment, investors may be better served owning the underlying asset as opposed to buying up shares of Nova Gold, which is a company that continues to be hampered by a high debt ratio relative to net income. The loser for this week is Overstock.com, ticker symbol OSTK. Shares dropped nearly 12% following a disappointing earnings announcement. While overstock shares look enticing based on their significant lower P.E. ratio compared to the industry average, the main issue with the company is net profit margins, which is 65% lower than their competitors. If the overall economy moves into a deflationary environment, their weak margins could continue to spell big trouble. Well, those are our winners and losers for this week. Now we want you to weigh in. You tell us in the comments section below what company is the top pick and the stinker for this week. All right, let's talk precious metals. Both gold and silver made a strong comeback performance off of the weaker dollar and uncertainty in the economic landscape. The precious metals are above their respective 20-day moving averages and their sudden resurgence despite unofficial restoration of government order is a signal that not everyone is buying into the latest political showmanship. Palladium ripped through its technical malaise and closed the session at $740. The rarity of the metal combined with the weaker dollar should make this a very interesting market in the coming months ahead. And that wraps it up. Thanks for tuning in to another weekly market wrap up. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook and on Twitter. For VNN, I'm Hannah Bernard.